most of us don't keep our New Year's resolutions, but here's one that we should. Getting our financial house in order. Well, personal finance specialist Skip Cowan is here to help us dig out from under the holiday debt. I sure need help with that. And also to help you set a budget and stick to it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good and I'm so happy you're here because I know we all make these resolutions and this is one we do really need to keep if we want to get the year started off right. So what are some of the common resolutions that you see and hear when it comes to dealing with your finances? Well, I think probably number one on the list is uh -huh. I'm going to save more money this year. Oh, yes. Because I've said that. we've just been through the holidays <laughs> yeah. and we found out that our budget got a little stretched maybe and even broke in some cases. I know that in mine it did. Some of us didn't take all of your advice and might have bought too many gift well, cards or things. We might have, you know, but the bottom line here is that, yeah, you got to come up with some kind of a plan to save money, yeah. Yeah. but there's a key. Okay. Don't overdo it. Don't make your goal so big that you can't meet it because all you'll do is get disappointed. So make an attainable resolution. Yes, an indeed. Now, it, it needs okay. to be a stretch. Don't misunderstand because yes. let's say, for example, you want to save 300 bucks. Right. Um, you could probably save three forty. Mm, okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So you you, you set the goal to save three forty. Gotcha. And if okay. you don't make it, it's not a disaster because you're still saving the three hundred. Okay. So you're so building a little cushion. That makes sense, and you want to make sure that you set these resolutions. But here's the hardest part: it's keeping them. So what is the secret to keeping our financial resolutions? Well, the key is I think to set milestones. Okay. okay? So you got a goal that's going to last a year. Uh -huh. So you set it today uh -huh. and you say, all right, on December 31, 2013, I will have achieved this, mm. which is very cool. Okay. But that that's a really kind of a long-term deal. And for procrastinators, they'll say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do better exactly. later on in the year. Exactly. I'll start April 1st yeah, instead. Yeah. You know, After tax day or yeah, whatever. Sure. I mean, there's always something. So sure. what you really have to do then is go ahead and set the, 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 the milestone uh -huh. and each time you reach it, reward yourself. So that's okay then? You bet. Okay, because that's one of the things I was going to ask you because I have a tendency, and my parents have always faulted me for this because I have a tendency when I do something well with money or whatever, you know, with work, then I have this reward thing that I feel like, well, now I should reward myself and then I end up getting myself back into trouble. So what is the way to reward yourself without doing that? Well, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to come off the... the you don't want to go crazy you, you on Nordstrom.com. There's no point in jumping off the bridge, <laughs> you know? But maybe for me, for example, it, when I reward myself, perhaps I'll have uh, a chocolate malt. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You fair know? enough. Much better than Nordstrom.com. <laughs> Something yes. that I wouldn't ordinarily do, but it's not off the wall. Okay. Well, you know, the credit card bills are going to start rolling in soon. We're all dreading this, aren't we? Uh -huh. So, which will, you know, these these will all, they will definitely hurt our budget. There's no question about it, right? So, which would be the trick that you would say would be the best thing to help us pay off all of these credit cards sooner than later? Because I know a lot of us, again, with the procrastination thing, will say, well, I have time. I'll, you know, I'll work through it throughout the year. So, what do we do? Well, uh, hopefully at least it, 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 that you haven't worked yourself into a situation where you're going to suffer from credit card surprise, which we've talked about before. Yes, you know, when you open it up and will. say, "Oh my goodness, did I really do this?" Yeah. Well, even if you do, mm -hmm. you open up the card and you say to yourself, "The balance is oh my gosh," and it's one of those things. I just uh, I, how am I going to do this? Yeah. Again, it, it looks overwhelming, but uh -huh. it's not. Okay. It's if it, the old axiom had to eat a, a, an elephant one bite at a time, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the same way that you pay off your credit cards, and that is okay. to say, okay, I'm going to, on this specific date, mm -hmm. be at this particular balance. Okay. And to do that, oh. I have to pay X amount of dollars per month, okay. per week, per day, whatever, whatever it is, whatever works for you. Okay. But the key is specificity. That's great. You can't say that, I, gee, I hope I get this paid off. Maybe one less coffee that week or one less, just something else that something, you can do. To, something so if you to, have that in your head ahead of time, then you can plan properly with your budget. And keep it in mind, Nikki, that the interest rates that you're paying on those credit cards mm -hmm. truly are usurious in, 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 in my mind. It, when you start talking about upwards of 18, 19, 20 some odd percent, mm -hmm. my goodness, I mean, Oh yeah, do I the feel math. like I feel like math. my whole payment is just going to the interest. Half well, the time. it is. It yeah. is, and and it's very difficult to get ahead. So right. you've got to pay those things off. You well, really do. We appreciate your advice all the time. I think that's a really good way to start the new year right is to just get on top of cleaning up our financial house and keeping it in check for the entire year. Sure long. makes sense to me. 
well, let's make 2013 a financially fabulous year. It's going to be. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thanks for Same being to here. You. We'll it. be right back.